Merry Christmas, Hanukkah. Happy New Year. Enjoy this another tester podcast that we did. We've tried out, as you've seen, we've tried out many different formats and backgrounds, whatever. We're just having fun with it. There's no structure to it necessarily. We're just kind of experimenting. So your guys' feedback is highly appreciated. And we know you guys have been really asking for podcasts, podcasts, podcasts. So essentially, well, here is us speaking in a podcast format. So I guess we kind of gave them what they wanted. Yeah. And keep in mind, these were filmed a while ago, months ago, a year ago, I don't even know. But mm -hmm. I'd love to film some more podcast style content for them. So There's no name to this. This, this is just our gift to you. We weren't even gonna upload it, but it's our gift to you. So real quick, after you watch this, can somebody go in the comments and make a timestamp breakdown of every single segment, topic, conversation, whatever we discuss? It'll help us out a lot, and we're gonna pin that comment. Hey, hey. um, Strawberry Park, and we're getting straight into it. That's, off, that's what it's about. No dilly dally. You, you tune in, we talk. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and here's the thing: everyone has a podcast. Everyone and their mom has a podcast. This is an audio times visual experience. This is not a podcast. <laughs> um, so us as YouTubers, mm -hmm. um, that was one of the first things that we wanted to talk about was the the plight of having like a big series, like a big, our big library prank thing. Mm -hmm. And then that almost, it's a blessing and a curse. Yeah, facts. Uh, when we did the library pranks, a lot of people thought we were a prank channel after we did those. Mm -hmm. But we hadn't done pranks on our channel for the first two years of its inception. And then... Uh, it's like, well, once you get that viral video, if that's what everybody wants to see, you gotta keep doing it. And Rob knows a little bit about that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I do. I just feel like YouTube is so different nowadays. Nowadays, um. <laughs> it's like you're some old man. <laughs> like I'm some old man, yeah, whatever. Um, but I have a series that did well on my channel that got a healthy amount of views. Mm. And not to say that I don't like doing those videos, but yeah, you kind of, uh, it comes with a price when those videos do well and then it's like okay what's the balance of let me keep doing those videos and let me sprinkle in some new stuff but when you sprinkle in the new stuff it's like hey do the other video that we want to see then it's like well i don't want to just be that and it's like every youtuber probably aims to i want a video to blow up i want to have a big video or just have something go viral and then i'll be lit and famous whatever and then it happens and then you quite literally become a circus monkey do the thing do that thing again and it's like not again like how many times and in public you be do that thing i remember people coming up to me can you say that one line you said in a video and i was like yo i quite literally like i said a circus monkey <laughs> do the circus monkey dance did you do it and i kind of had to do oh. it cuz it was like i didn't have a choice i guess that's what's also the cool thing about this like profession is that we can we have the opportunity to continuously change ourselves and reinvent ourselves and you know kind of put out what we want to put out mm. so it's like yeah if you don't want to do that if we're not going to do that it's now up to us to figure out okay what's the new and thing if you are going to complain about it you got to get innovated and adapt with the times and try to do something new that's what it is you have to be in tune with what's going on at all times especially in, in the internet today because some series some things really just have a shelf life like I don't know how many times can Ryan and I keep going back to the libraries and blasting the same How many song. libraries do I gotta go to? We did 18 of them, Rob. <laughs> how many Apple videos have you done? Uh, a good amount, <laughs> like 13. And then you look at the views and go, I might do a 14. <laughs> Just no, facts. I might be able to think of a couple more Apple discs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and as you're sitting there and you're broken in your room, like, I can't do it. And then you look at the AdSense, I just thought of another joke. That just might work for that. Take that money and dry those tears. Um, <laughs> And then it's like, we say stuff like that. And then people are like, what do you mean? So you hate it? Like you hate what you do? Like, not really. Like I love making videos and I love doing those types of things. Like obviously like we thought of those concepts or whatever. To and you're proud it right that now. it even got that far. Probably it even got that far. But yeah, it gets to a point where it's, it's like, hey, where, where's the end point? Or, and it being your own boss or being your own, whatever you make your own decisions and your own. Yeah. I have to post this today and this next week and that week after to stay relevant. Mm. And you know what I've seen is, I mean, we saw so many TikTokers, musically people, YouTubers come and go because they had the one thing and they just didn't have the juice. They didn't have the special sauce. I ain't saying I have the special sauce, but mm. they didn't have the special sauce to like make, give some longevity to their career. So then they vanish. Like they had their one trick pony mm -hmm. they do their one circus dance. And then once that circus dance gets, the, the, Everyone's tired of seeing it, then they're gone. They vanish. That's why I feel like it's a blessing and a curse to be like a one-hit wonder. 
Mm -hmm. There it is. That's it. Yeah, I feel like like it's great that we blew up slowly. Like we had this casual growth over six, seven years versus like if you blew up in two months off YouTube, I don't know. Okay, here's a question. Would you rather have a one hit wonder and you have that one thing that you're known for and that's your only thing, your big climactic moment in your life? Mm. Or it's kind of like you have to struggle like and it's going to take you about 10 years from now to kind of like get where you want to be or you can have that one hit which could kind of resi- pay you in residuals for your life but you won't be really known but that's m- it you kind of it's just you're stuck to that one thing what's more valuable or what do you want i guess would you rather have the one hit because i seen the guy who did the cupid shuffle or saying that he like saying what else that, did he make he made that and like that was his only thing and then he went on the voice to like sing it in front of everyone <laughs> and no one turned and they're like that's a Cupid Shuffle guy. Uh, like the actual guy that did someone he tr- thought they were doing a cover of Cupid Shuffle. <laughs> and they're like, why would you sing Cupid Shuffle for the talent show competition? I and it was the actual that. guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then um what did he try to do a part two to make his one hit wonder more? Like, did he try to do the the Santa's <laughs> Santa Shake? <laughs> <This> part, <laughs> he should have done that. See, that's the thing. Nowadays, he probably would have. Part two, part three, part four. <laughs> You right. got to keep up in yourself. You got to keep but it going. To answer your question, currently I feel like I do a bit of, like I'm in both situations where I, I, our blow up wasn't so crazy to the point where it's all you're known for because we had other series that yep. we were known for. I would prefer the slow burn all all day. Especially if you said I would know that in the back of my head. Yeah, well, I'm going I'm to a, I'm a tough it out. I guess so. And I feel like it's more fulfilling to kind of create stuff and fail mm. and then and then i mean that's not as fulfilling but like to know that you failed it's like you can keep trying again and keep trying again something about being just that i feel like an orca that's just like do the flip do the back flip that you always do at sea world and it's like once the lights cut out and everyone goes home from your, the sea world exhibit you sitting there in your tank like what am i who am i <laughs> they come back do the flip again any hoosies so basically don't just get stuck doing one thing yeah, and we have a podcast now, so so just follow along. We're trying to do new stuff, guys. I don't know, um, which is a interesting point. Now we had to step out of our realm and start messing with professional cuddlers because the YouTube realm is now getting so twisted, and Mr. Beast has just changed things to the point where you got to now jump off a fifty-story building with a with a squirrel costume. I jumped out of a thing for fifty bucks to a ten thousand dollar challenge. That's what it's turned into. You got to have 500 edits from start to finish of every video. So I feel like that's the new YouTube though. Mm-hmm. Because that's what everyone wants to see is the. And it's. And hey, I'm not hating on it. Like if it works, it works. I mean, yeah. Like that's. That's interesting to see now because back then it was people in their room doing jump cuts. Now it's everyone building their own brand doing the craziest shit. <laughs> And bro, that's I'm like, I don't have a million dollars to spend each video. How are all y'all doing? I spent a half a million dollars on this. Vi- Where are y'all getting the funds for this? Bro, they be traveling to Iceland for one video and come back. I did this. I traveled to this. I just fly out to Alaska to do this and that. And I pretended to be Spider-Man and climbed across the Amazon rainforest. Bro, I just want to, I'm just at the crib, not trying to do all that. But I have to compete with y'all now. Y'all so, making it difficult. So that's why we had to be with a... Uh, we did the video with the professional cuddler a couple months back and Noah just did another session with the cuddler last night was it last night Yeah, yesterday yesterday um, That it, was quite interesting The the YouTube game is kind of making us do things that we normally would have never done before mm-hmm. But I actually think that that's pretty awesome because it, it makes me I said this to a friend earlier It forces me to live life. It forces me to go out and live and do things out of my comfort zone like did, I mean, you didn't think you'd be cuddling a professional cuddler. No, and now it's, what a fun uh, topic to just bring up and talk about. Fun topic, and she's our friend now, too. Yeah, Jean. Jean. Shout out Jean, super, super nice. Shout out Jean, she's so awesome, great cuddler. It was low-key like therapy for me, though. Like, I, I went in there being very serious. I was like, okay, I'm not going to take this as a joke, and came out like, dang, I wish I could have more cuddles. <laughs> Booked another session. But listen, Off I, cam. And I had to film y'all cuddling. I was like, something about this seems so wrong that I have to witness this. <laughs> Um, oh, man. so that was that. We're just kind of recapping on what we've been doing recently. Yeah, filming new videos, yeah. going out, having fun. I mean, we went out last weekend to a Jack Harlow concert. Yes, we went to Jack Harlow. 
Uh, that was quite the experience. Uh, oh boy, where do I begin with that? Here. I mean, what are y'all's thoughts on concerts? Just I don't do concerts. I feel like it's like you went to Rolling personally, Loud. Personally, I don't. Do I did go to Rolling Loud. What but then that? again, were I you was Rolling Loud or no? No. <laughs> that... Why do they call it Rolling Loud? Actually, well, because you're rolling. No, but they, there's no weed allowed there. Are you serious? So what? I guess it's a cool name. Really? You can't yeah. smoke weed? No, they didn't have nothing. Or maybe you could. I don't know. Were there people there smoking uh, against the rules? Yeah, but they weren't selling stuff. Like, you would think if it's called Rolling Loud, they would. And it's California, right? Yeah. Where it's legal. Yeah. So you would assume they'd be selling loud at Rolling Loud. Yeah, but whatever. I don't think you're stupid for asking. <laughs> they were selling fair. tickets for a lot of money, but... Um, <laughs> Basically, going to those big events now, I'm kind of just sketched out. Well, kind of just sussed out. Like, <laughs> everyone good here? I don't, like, <laughs> don't want to get trampled. I don't no, want to. I said, let me stay in the back. I'm not trying to be in the front of the crowd. <laughs> that, uh, I mean, well, here's the thing. We went to the chat. We went to Jack Harlow. Jack Harlow. And there was like hella girls there. I, Jack Harlow was a sex symbol. He's a whole sex icon. To, to the fullest extent. And there's girls there with, with their, and the boyfriend's like hugging them. And the girl's like, ah, Jack like screaming like girls were flashing their boobs while their boyfriend was literally holding them like i'm just happy my girl's having a good time yo girls like on their shoulder oh no they were they spirits. were lifting girls up like cheerleaders just to get jack's attention it was unbelievable um so are you you know you i mean know. i love jack harlow i will not be going there with my girl yeah you taking your girl to a jack harlow concert yeah that's probably not the best thing to do i know a girl that has a cutout of jack harlow like a whole poster cutout. it's like hey what about what? Where's my where's my cutout? <laughs> can, can you bring your girl to a concert? Period. Like, Ooh. oh, it's fun. She's not gonna, bro. If they're ugly, then yeah. They, but if it's ASAP Rocky, <laughs> yeah, we're staying home. We'll do the online metaverse concert. <laughs> Don't they? Be they got the live stream. Live stream. Oh, we'll do the live stream. No, no, we got. What the one Lil Nas X did? It was like the in the video game. <laughs> well, I feel like that's the future, though. Aren't you we'll setting yourself up for like failure, low key? If look. I'm trying to keep my girl, right? Mm -hmm. There are dudes out there. There are other light-skinned men with doper tattoos, a stronger jawline, a cooler-looking red hat. I have to, I got to kind of, what's the word? Frame what she's seeing. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm doing myself a disservice, right? Facts, yeah. It's crazy to, sh uh, to see, like, the effect, the star effect that, that you can have once you are at that level. Once you're at Jack Harlow. That's just what happens. You get bras thrown at you from girls that are cuffed up. Mm -hmm. So we're, I'm just thinking. Does it not count because he's a celebrity? And no, I don't really. But if Jack Harley says, hey, come with me tonight, she's going. Come on stage. Wait a minute. <laughs> not my girl. Jack, <sighs> dude. Yo, that's what I'm saying. I just don't want that. Yeah. So you got to. Uh, so you just got to become the star. So just reduce the risk by not even. Yeah, I'm trying to reduce the risk. That's the thing. There's always going to be better people out there, and it's about loyalty. Do you really trust your partner? But I just want to have fun tonight. That's how you test them. You take them to a Jack Carlo concert. concert. See it. Just watch them. Let's all try it. <laughs> Doesn't work out. Doesn't work out. We're all we go home. All right. You see your girl screaming. Jack. 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 Any, and it could be anyone. It could be ASAP Rocky. What yeah, it could be any dude. What if it's Drake? What if Future? Ah, bring me up on... Ah, All the single ladies in the house, put your hands up. She, your girl, ah, looks back. I'm leaving the venue. That's the only, that's the final test right there. Oh, man. Any hoosies. Well, we've been having a lot of fun, yeah, filming these crazy videos, going out. Um, you've been getting into some crazy stuff. I have. You I brought mean. me to your family's cookout the other night. Oh, yeah, I did. That was fun. That was West. fun. I feel like. I feel like that's always fun to just kind of kicking back and mm -hmm. barbecue and hanging out, especially in the city that in the Inland Empire, it's pretty like mellow for the most part, especially where I live or my, where my family lives. But uh, I almost broke my wrist, though. You weren't there. You I weren't even not, there. I was not there. I heard about it. I literally took a fall so bad. <laughs> what happened? You were supposed to be there, though. I invited you. Why didn't you come? Um, I, was, I was at a Jack Harlow concert. My oh, uh, okay. uh, <laughs> what was I doing? I don't know. I think you were doing something, but you had got home late and you're like, oh, I'm tired and shit. So, yeah, I remember we were in your we were in your house and then literally next to the counter, there was a whole big electric bike just chilling. Oh, yeah. Those super. What are they called? Super 73, super 37. Something. I know what vehicle I, you were riding. I, so I have a 
I was I like, are these street legal? You're like, yeah. I was like, why do you have this? I have like electric bike. Uh, Not just any electric bike. This had a St. Laurent logo on the whole like bike. It's like a special edition St. Laurent bike. that was gi- It was gifted to me. They make bikes? I thought it was just clothes. So here's a story when I almost broke myself. Um, so it was late. I said, um, let's take it for a spin. No, it was like, let's take it for a spin. I had a couple shots in me, whatever. Um, so I was, I wasn't in the right mindset as is. I was like, yeah, let's go for a ride, whatever. <laughs> it's late at night. Let's do it. Hey. So we go, we take it out, turn it on, turn the lights on. And then I was like, no, you want to take it for a ride? That thing had some kick. Um, no, it takes it for a ride. I was just hitting the throttle and I almost did a wheelie, but I was just trying to go. I went around the neighborhood. It was super cool. Had the lights on. I felt safe. And then I was like, all right, Rob, you can try it. So then so then I go and I'm like, this is my bike. I know how to ride this, whatever. Um, so I hop on. I got a bad ting in the back. <laughs> so I'm driving this thing late at night going. I haven't really drove with people in the back of it. Uh, um, is this a moped or what the hell is it? Yeah, no, it's like a bike. Yeah. It's a bike, but like electric, like a like a motorized bicycle. Yeah, yes. like the wheels are just thicker. You don't need a pedal. You just go, <clears throat> but it has pedals on it. So the pedals kind of like help it go, or like if it dies, you could just pedal. Because like I'm thinking bike. motocross. Yeah. No, nah, no, nah, I just thumb like a little bird. I need to see this fucking thing. <laughs> Anywho, yeah. Just, so we go for a ride. Yeah, just like that's that. It. That's, that's it. That's exact <laughs> oh one. God. That should look kind of tough. Hard, dude. That's hard. Okay, that looks pretty tough. So we're riding that thing. So it's got pedals, but you... That's what I was confused. Rob was like, yeah, put him here to guide. I was like, wait, but there's no point to use it. <laughs> so basically, I was sitting right there in the front. Um, so there's no pegs or nothing. I didn't put anything on. Or the, what are they? The, they stand on the, the person in the back. Nothing on that. So, yeah, so there was nowhere for them to put their feet. No, so we are kind of just willy-nilly just going. <laughs> so I was like, just kind of Friday night, up. you know, you just get into whatever. So I'm... Yeah, just like go. that. <laughs> just like that. Yeah, yeah Rob I was, that was me I for forgot, a I forgot you were shirtless, yeah. Yeah, so driving it. Oh, having fun, whatever. So I make this right turn, and we hit, like, some sort of branch or some sort of thing. And I know how to, like, maneuver the bike because I've been on it before or whatever. But you had extra weight now. But I had extra weight. So I didn't know how to fully kind of, like, get the right traction back. Um, so I wasn't sure if it was the imbalance of the bike or the imbalance that was going on in my brain, but what had happened was I had turned like this way, right? But the person that was behind me like pulled the other way. So it kind of threw off my balance, what I thought was going to work, you know? So then fall right onto my hands, right onto the sidewalk. Oh shit. I I got up, ate shit. Hands were bleeding. They're still bruised up. Put that at the camera. Can you guys see that? Look at that. Oh, yo. Yo. So for and the, then and then for the next I'm eating at the cookout. Rob comes in. He got grass in his hair, shirt ripped. I was like, "Yo, what just happened?" He's like, ah, "I fell." And in my head, I was like, "I fell like so hard," but I just got up like, "Oh, everything's good. Whatever, <laughs> drive." I, I went, got back home. I said, "Yo, this is not good." Yeah, Rob like tried to walk it off, but it was pretty serious. Because the next day, he couldn't even like move your. I hand. couldn't move my wrist. Everything was so my sweats were just ripped through. Vans had a whole hole in the middle of it. You and should, you. You said there was a girl there that had caused the problem. Well, I wouldn't say. I guess the first problem was me getting on the bike with another after human. The, uh, oh. the Tito shots. But the I moral of the story is just don't, don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. Because yeah. I was gonna say, to what extent do you have to act like a tough guy? Oh, when the, you're around like a girl or the like, because like, like yo, you fuck, like I broke my fucking ankle, and you gotta be like, I'm good. No, nope, that's what I'm I did. Start the fucking smart. <laughs> I got up and then she was like about to cry. Like, <laughs> you're like that was nothing. I could take. I was it like, back. no, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> we're so I was driving it just like, oh, we're good. And then I, and so I got home. I didn't realize the severity of my gashed hand with the rock stuck inside. I just remember I was with uh, a girl. And we were looking at you and we we're like, is there grass in Rob's ear? Like I was trying to figure out how did it get and up I there. I didn't even realize. Like I just got up and everything's fine. And then just joined the party. Just got right back. Ah, what? My wrists are recovering, so we're we're fine. Yeah. It could have been a lot worse. And I realized that. And you stayed strong. Stayed strong. Nothing even. You probably can't even tell it's a St. Laurent, St. Laurent bike anymore. You probably scraped off the logo. Scraped it off. But it kind of gives it like distress. Type oh, of yeah. That's yeah. a new thing anyway. Cool. Um, um, shoot. <laughs> so uh, I want to talk about um, the metaverse thing we're, we're we're currently doing a little a life recap here for the first section of this uh podcast but 
I wanted Rob to um, get into the the like metaverse thing because I'm confused. Uh, it's all brand new to N me. NFT pot metaverse. Put your NFTs in the metaverse. Put your. I, I I became. I saw this thing on Instagram. I became a real estate agent in the metaverse. Here's my check for forty thousand dollars. I saw Dana White saying they're gonna have UFC live UFC fights in the metaverse. That's what why. Is, what isn't that just a video game? <laughs> I don't know, and I have to learn, and I'm tired. Yeah, I'm tired of seeing the TikToks like, I made 30K in one day so, so flipping NFTs or something. And then I say, how to flip NFT, and there's like a, tons of steps. Where do I start? So let me get this straight, and maybe I, because I could play the idiot of the group who doesn't know anything, and maybe there's some people out there who don't know anything about NFTs like me. Okay, so it's you, <laughs> JPEGs. All right. Okay. You're buying and selling JPEGs, right? That's the that's the bottom line. Yeah. Well, I had a guy explain it to me uh, the same way that um, if you see a Lamborghini outside and you take a picture of it, that's still not your car. Correct. So, but if you own the Lamborghini, then it's your car. So, like, you can screenshot the JPEG, but it doesn't mean that it's yours. It doesn't yeah. mean you own it. You still are yeah. the owner of it. Yeah. Yeah. So my question is, and then there's these bored ape. These are the ones that are selling for forty thousand Ethereum, whatever. So, oh, and then everyone's like, I'm making my own NFT. Well, what, is, what does that mean? Who, who, who decides non which ones are the most valuable? There's Bored Ape, there's Angry Penguin. I, who decides which ones have the most value? Just the people, like, oh, fuck. And it's like, I don't even know much about it, but there's so I, many. I was trying to buy, like, how do it's you like a, It's like an art gallery, basically, right? You just buy what you like? It's like, say you created an NFT project right okay i just fucking i don't know it would make more sense well, for you to start an nft project than just joe schmo joe schmo regular regular because you can have some backing behind behind it and then what okay let's say rhino does an nft and it's a rhino i'm creative as hell and then what i say i made a th i made a thousand of these you can all buy one right is that how it works and then the resale value of the almost like a jordan shoe drop or let's say Red October Yeezy shoe drop, they release 50,000 of them. Everyone buys them up for a said price. And then now they get to sell, resell, yeah, at a higher guess. margin. Is that what it is? Yeah, I guess that's. that's I'm asking two people who I don't, don't. I don't know a damn That's thing. what's funny is like, we don't really know. Like, that's why. All I hear is the definitely... success stories. I hear everybody this like, the future, yeah, I bought a board ape at 8K. It's worth 600K now. I'm like, how did you do that? How did you know that was the one that was going to blow up? And there's people that this is their whole life where they're every day tracking it and making sure, okay, they're watching the peaks. So Bro, and they have discords and groups and you have to follow along. Um, Buy this NFT. This one's going to go crazy, blah, blah, blah. This is the that. Bro, I'm just trying to make it through today. Yeah, I feel like that's, uh, it's, you have to know what you're doing. I had somebody saying like, it's kind of like RuneScape. You ever played that? I was like, no. no. I was like, ah, oh, well, you already <laughs> lost me then. Cause I don't <laughs> and then Gary V, if you're not making an NFT, then you're going to be fucked. And I'm like, if you're not trading NFTs right now, you're gonna be fucking homeless. Gary Vee knows too much. Like, he probably said that ten years ago. Mm -hmm. he'd be, I remember him <laughs> like, sir, he'd what? Be having clip. He's gonna throw that clip up tomorrow. <laughs> this is me ten years ago talking about there, there's gonna be a digital currency. Well, he really, no, really. A, he has a clip of everything that he said back then. I'm like, I'm listening to whatever Gary Vee says at this uh, point. And don't you need money to make money with things like that? Mm -hmm. Like, same with stocks, the same with uh, investment, whatever. You like. <laughs> let's say I want to buy a house, whatever, and do like, I need a half a mil to buy this crib so that I can then rent it out. Yeah. Like, Oh God, I need a quarter mil to buy this little penguin JPEG so that I can then sell it for 2 million. Yep. I don't have a half a million. And then, okay, so what do I buy one for a thousand, sell it for, yeah, but it's and like, hopefully sell the, it for 15. Are the cheap ones really going to blow up? I feel like we don't really know. Like, well, like we don't. We're gonna That's get, why. Like the more we know about that is like I feel like that is next. The next thing that's happening. Okay, so there's the NFTs. Okay, it's like when the internet first came out and people were like, "What's the internet? Who's on the internet?" I feel like that's what this is. Like the Web three shit. So my question about the metaverse now is: metaverse just everyone puts on an Oculus uh, VR headset and that's it? Is that what it is? And I don't leave my room now. I'm just this little avatar in a game. It's like a virtual reality. I feel like. People are gonna have to worry about their real lives and then their virtual lives. Like I feel like the virtual life is gonna become so powerful to the point where you're gonna own your NFTs that are actual like 
things in the metaverse. So, for example, like the guy on TikTok, I sold, I'm a real estate agent in the metaverse. So he, this motherfucker is selling digital buildings. Yes, you can sell <laughs> digital <laughs> real estate, dude. I swear to you. <laughs> and why is everyone buying into this? Like, yeah, I own a, I own, I own a house. Where is it? Just the rich people. Own. Is it just the rich people being bored? They're like, yeah, we own enough stuff out here. I'm looking for guidance and answers. I think people are just maybe a brainiac in the comments can help me. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't, I don't really. This is us just kind of pe trying to piece it together. It makes it all right. Everyone puts on the Oculus. Everyone puts it on, and now, oh, I own this Lamborghini and the thing. It caught. It took me real world money to buy this shit in the little digital world, but I own it in the digital world. Yeah, it's, I don't. It's like if you play like a game and you buy a skin, like you could actually own those things instead of just kind of yeah. So it's like the money you had in a video game. It's now just real money in the metaverse. I guess. Or it's like it's still money in the real world. Because yeah, it's a it's crypto, right? It's Ethereum. It, it can be that. transferred over. Transfer, uh -huh, yeah, but I think people, over. I think it's just kind of moving towards cryptocurrency, anyways, like the blockchain. So if I don't get an Oculus, am I effed? Am I like if I don't get the little headset? I feel like the Oculus is just like the bridge to the metaverse. Oh God, it'll probably be some glasses or something. I feel like Apple's gonna make something crazy. So then every. <sighs> Because Apple's working on, I think they're working on their like metaverse thing. Goggles. Wait, so it's Facebook officially changed now? It's a meta. Name. Is that it's actually meta. what it is? Really? Yeah. Because I tried to update my Facebook app and it said discontinued. I was like, so oh, if, no. I'm like, bro. Well, what? If Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook is changing to meta, or whatever, that's next. Well, and Time Magazine. They're not going to put all that money into that. Time Magazine, uh, Adidas, and Nike all have their own collaborations with NFTs. Well, so if those big companies are putting money into that, we need to hop on it. You see every celebrity just bought an NFT and they'll put it as, the, as their the profile picture. Well, because they're trying to get the value to go up, yeah. It's, and it's like a social status, like, oh. Shit. But I what's have... stopping me from just putting one as my profile pic to make people think like, huh? Well, yeah, isn't that social media anyway? But then at the end of the day, yeah, it's just like, well, I don't really own it, so. And that's like, I'm a friend. Yeah, yeah. But I can't, like, I can't look at someone's thing and go, damn, he has the, yeah, okay, there's bored ape, what's another? enthusiastic eel like or whatever the fuck world, there's so much there's too many how i feel I, like now it's there's so much now it's like how do i start my own project bro i got like all these people doing it i, I just who was it It was like banks or ksi that said oh, i own i own three chimps so i own three apes y'all flexing on me and i don't even know what you're talking about <laughs> i just i have three apes <laughs> i own 10 million dollars in nfts like i don't know what that means yeah, and it's like <laughs> you own three zebras. It's not encouraging when I see a tweet where it's like this person bought an NFT, whatever, and I'm like, okay, cool, for like thirty million. What? <laughs> Who's? <it? laughs> but it makes sense, I guess. It's like owning the Mona Lisa, right? Like it's better than owning a replica copy. I thought it was like people were going to be owning memes and shit. Like I think you can do that. Like I own the picture. But of... But you can create your own NFT. You anything could be an NFT, right? Like the guy who invented Twitter, like sold his first tweet as an NFT for like a crazy amount of money. I don't even know how much. Okay. I, I'm going to need to like talk to someone who's smart or have someone we need rate a, me in the comments. We need a like NFT, NFT for expert. dummies. Yeah. Because like, cause I'm trying to get into it. It pisses me off when I be seeing everyone else. This 13 year old just made 13 million for selling a picture of, of, him, of his own face. Cause I'd love to just. I'm over here busting my balls. Here's some money. PMG can somebody, <laughs> can somebody do it for me? Like, can I just give y'all my money and you make it for me? Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do this. I think it'll be valuable to learn about it. We should learn about it. We have th three minds. Three. We could. We, we. Oh, next we podcast an NFT project. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it. We're yes. gonna put our NFT right here on the TV. Too. Yeah. I just want to buy, uh, whatever. But I've never even tried an Oculus. Oh, that thing be crazy. Don't even be crazy. Start on you just Oculus. bought one. So I bought one like around Christmas, um, just because I was like, "Oh, let me see what this whole metaverse thing's all about, bro." You I don't bought get, that like, thing. Sick, like. Ugh. I think I became obsessed with it for the first couple weeks. What was the noise that you made when you get sick? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh shit, bro! The Oculus virtual reality is insane. I know it's been around for a long time, but I just bought the Oculus and it's crazy. You, Rob, put me onto it. You tried it. You put them joint. You put them all fucking goggles on. Isn't that shit heavy. And then. It feels as though you're in another room. You like you can be in a random room. I was in like a movie theater. He said, yeah, you can watch Netflix on this TV now. Stop, I said, no stop, way. I click stop. on that bitch. Netflix screen. And I was like, I feel like I'm in a new living room in the middle of like this Alaskan wilderness. 
Modern House, watching my Netflix, watching um, Love on the Spectrum. Um, <laughs> and you got the spatial audio in your ears, so it like sounds like there's a something over here and something over here. And I was like, this is like, this is all fun and games, but I feel like people would really use this to escape reality. People already do drugs. People are doing do, that. People do a lot of things to escape. Oh my God, you come on here with your little, you meet a girl from Alaska or whatever, and y'all are digitally next to each other like that's just this... that's the thing though that's already happening you haven't gone into any of like the public chat rooms or anything we went into a public <laughs> thing where it was it was public people in there rob said yeah there's these are actually real people all with their oculus on and they were cussing me out were they in like avatars <laughs> bitch ass motherfucker but fuck you bitch i was like okay oh no this is anything just... like xbox live that's i can't problem, do it it's like, xbox live if it's xbox live I'm not they shouldn't live. let kids have the oculus yeah, cause it's probably like a, a grown ass man, but it was a little child saying "fuck you." Yeah, we were standing in a the movie theater watching on the, in our little universe thing, and then this motherfucker is just up on our face, and Rob's like, "Yo, this guy won't get away from me." <laughs> I'm like, "Yo, I'm trying to watch a movie," and just motherfuckers in there trolling. <laughs> I don't know. There's gonna be see, it's so new where it's like there's not really that much filters and this and that, but just know that the metaverse stuff, I feel like is next. Uh, once they start doing it in the context where you're like you don't even know like i can probably look at you and it'll scan you <laughs> rhino rhino youtuber dope as fuck yeah, yeah. um <laughs> makes sense um so transitioning out of the metaverse talk um, we're back in reality now yeah um there was one thing i i can't talk about this too in depth because i will get incinerated in oh the comments. i know what you're about to talk oh yeah look I, I'm aware that everyone has different opinions on things, I, and my opinions are subject subject to change. I'll say this: they had a new Spider-Man movie that came out. Yes, yes. Everyone and their mom loved it. They said this is the best movie of all time. I went to the movie theater with this girl. It's a little movie date. We were watching a movie. I've never. I only saw the first Spider-Man ever. I've never seen it. Uh, Marvel. I'd never seen Avengers. I watched Black Panther because I had to. Um, it was kind of a rite of passage that you kind of have to. Um, if you're black, you watch Black Panther. Uh, and I watched the Spider-Man movie and I walked out of the movie theater. All viewers leave right now. Oh, All yeah. I We just lost a whole bunch of subs. And we haven't even started. The, right. And the thing is, I don't think I'm a Marvel enthusiast. Well, you're not if you walked out. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna spoil the movie. I didn't finish the movie, but I have a, a really good feeling of how it ended. Well, when did you walk out? About uh, 45 to an hour in. The movie's like two and a half hours. And see, so I'm wait. not gonna spoil it, but I have a. I'm almost like. But I don't know how much I can reveal of the, what happened in the movie because I can't spoil Probably it. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> did you watch the other Spider Man though? I saw the first one. That shit was cool. That's why you didn't like it. The I first think. one ever. Not even the first the second, one. When he was got, one. bit the spider. I said, "Oh shit!" And he got like ripped and shit. That was dope. But you didn't see the second one. Oh no. And the third one. Oh no no no. And then see, the, Marvel likes to kind of tie everything together. So it's like, yeah, if you didn't see the other ones, then you won't even understand what's going on. My friend told me there's like 30 Marvel movies that you have oh, to yeah. watch to like be able to really enjoy this last one. I don't have that time. Yeah, I don't believe you have to watch every Marvel movie, but then again, I'm not a super Marvel enthusiast, but I've seen all the movies. I mean, that's like if they had a Naruto movie and we went in like not knowing anything. I don't like this. Why is everything dubbed? And then it's like, well, we sh we can't even speak on that if we don't even know. Um, I just I'm like I'll be getting incinerated for not for not getting a movie that you have to watch 80 other parts to enjoy it. I don't know. Yeah, everyone was everyone was hating in the in the <sighs> comments. They were section. coming at me. Yeah. I was like, I just don't. It's and just it, not your cup of tea. Yeah, and then I was watching it, and then they had some guy floating down with some magical powers. I was like, "Wait, who is this guy?" Green with, Goblin? <laughs> no, it wasn't a Green Goblin. Oh. It was this random dude. Uh, get, Dom, what's his name? Jamie Cumberbatch. Sandman. Dominic Cumber. Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch playing Doctor Strange. Playing Doctor Strange. Yeah, with the yeah. I'm I'm watching this movie. It's like Tom Holland being Spider Man. Okay, he's a superhero. Everyone hated him for some reason at the beginning of the movie. <laughs> I don't know why. It's Spider Man. How you hate Spider Man? Because well, you had to see yeah, the Spider Man two. I didn't watch it. It picked up right. So, uh, it picked up moments after. I said, "Why are they hating on him? This dude literally saves people. He's Spider Man." And and the movie's Ryan pretty, walked out. I don't get it. And then <laughs> why does everybody hate him? So I thought I thought Spider Man was the guy with the superpowers, right? <laughs> so then he goes in, and then this Doctor Strange guy starts hovering. I said, "Who is this guy?" <laughs> okay. I was yeah. like, I'll, and then That's I was like, "Y'all can't get mad at Ryan. Ryan doesn't even know what he doesn't know." <laughs> uh. uh 
<laughs> and then you you monster have that's a terrible take blah blah i haven't watched 40 other movies so i don't know what this one i thought uh, i thought it was a movie so you could go in there and it, even if you don't know part one two three four five six seven eight nine ten maybe you could still enjoy this one I mean, I think you still can. I think you're just not a fan of that type of yeah, yeah. movie. Those like, type of movies. You don't like people in costumes acting. I, I like when it was. J can I say who the Jamie Foxx was in there? Yeah, that's fine. Can I say that? Is that illegal to say? Yeah. Bro, if you haven't seen Spider Man by now, they had Jamie Foxx, and I was like, "That's Jamie Foxx," <laughs> and he was like a super villain or something. <laughs> oh, see, you didn't see any of the other movies, though. That's why. Oh, yeah, but this is Jamie Foxx. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do y'all know that I don't know, bro? I mean. You I I, and I was like, Ugh. I personally can't this is gold. get, I, I look at him and go, that's Jamie Foxx playing a character. I can't go, that's a super villain. You can't different, they can be like, oh, that's just an actor in a movie. Because I watched Leonardo DiCaprio in the new movie. Um, Don't Look Up. Don't Look Up. That was fine. I thought that was a cool movie. But that was Leonardo DiCaprio. And that was movie. a movie with just one of one. And, and maybe it's because he's such a great actor. I thought. I believed it. I said, that's Leo, but that, I fucking, like, that's dope. Mm. He, he made me believe that he was the character that he was. Same with Jake Gyllenhaal does a lot of cop movies. So you don't think Jamie Foxx is a good actor? Uh, Jamie Foxx was in Django Unchained, and I love that movie. <laughs> but, Jane but how many movies did you have to watch, did I have to watch to get Django Unchained? Not one. I could just watch it and enjoy it. So you, don't, you just like it like a one-off? Like you don't like movies sequels. with sequels? I, I don't your... mind a sequel, but I would like to be able to not have to watch other movies just to enjoy the sequel. Does you that got, make sense? Do you have a sequel that you like? I don't even know. But like, it, it all it made like Spider Man. What was it? No Way Home is a sequel in a way. So you kind of went into it watching a sequel. Yeah. I, I did go into a, yeah. a sequel. I didn't know really know that. I thought they just I don't because they changed Spider like they, there's like different Spider Man. It was like Tobey Maguire. But see, that's the thing. <laughs> this one would have brought it all together. Yeah, for you. that's why for me. But I never even watched the other one. So so that's yeah. why you walked out. I was like nostalgic. I was like, I'm a 24 year old grown man. Like, oh my god, they've all met now. Um, well, we're definitely spoiling. Some, but bro, it's, it's, it's <laughs> that might be bleeped out. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. Well, this might not even air. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, who knows? We'll see how controversial it is. Bottom line is, um, and then he said, "We're in the dream realm," and I was like, <laughs> "I just can't get like I like movies like Interstellar, and I like movies like I don't know. I'm not a Disney. So more realistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm more of a realistic. Yeah, because like the space Which stuff. Like who knows? Um, Bird Box." Wasn't necessarily oh, yeah. realistic. Thriller type stuff. Thriller, crime, thriller, comedy. Get out. Get out. Oh, yeah. S uh, uh, Shutter Island. Like, it doesn't have to be perfectly make sense, but I don't know. I just, something about superheroes, and that's why I have this power. Ugh. Bro, you're Jamie Foxx. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, you're, what's his, who's the main guy? Um, but that's the whole point Tom of, like, Holland? movies. Yeah, Tom Holland. I'm like, bro, that's Zendaya. Yeah, like you're not like you're not a, his like you're not his you're an actress like you're not Spider Man's girlfriend years in you're an actress <laughs> the actor, you auditioned for this you auditioned for this and <laughs> what happened to the they had Andrew Garfield as the other Spider Man well yeah he had his own three movies why did he not play this one someone explain that to me you walked out too soon yeah why did he Okay, we need to. We need to. Zendaya look good though. <laughs> Ryan's take on Spider Man No Way Home. This is the That's best. Viral right Zende there. The Zendaya is what made me stay the longest. She looked good, but it's Zendaya. It's not another. Like I can't believe that she's somebody else. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, she looked good though. Anyway, uh, but she was also on like Shake It Up before she was like known as. But Ryan never watched Disney Channel. Oh, yeah. oh, I never did. He doesn't know. You know what that is? Shake it up. Nah, you might just be a bit uncultured then. I'm uh, not a movie. I like. I love movies, but I don't watch all of them. Uh, I feel like you got to watch every movie that be you can't talk about this you haven't watched every movie ever okay <laughs> I thought it would be a good date idea with this girl well did she want to leave she hated it too oh, she okay. said what's happening I said I don't know okay I said Zendaya looks good though <laughs> who are these characters that keep flying all right uh, any hoosies movies um <laughs> so no sequels for Ryan so no sequels how about remakes like reboots like Bro, they're remaking everything. Bro. I they just are. saw the new Scream movie that came out like two weeks ago. I get it. They paid homage to the old one and stuff. But I was like, y'all didn't need to make this one. Because it's like, everybody just gets, they're just old now. And then what was another one? Like the Home Alone one? They they released like. Another Home Alone? I was like, Disney Plus, like, th I think we need to think of some new concepts for the new generation. And then like Full House, Fuller House, like they just keep making them. That wasn't that bad. I watched that one. Oh, okay. 
I don't to consume, Bob Saget, by the way. I don't consume yeah, enough, rest in peace. I don't consume enough uh, TV, maybe or movies, mm. to even know about this stuff. But do you think it's just a money grab, or it's like some of these deserve to be made? That's definitely what it is—the money grab. It's like it worked before. That's what it is. It's like well, it worked before. It's like we don't really got to think of a new thing. We kind of like restructure it in a way where people will still watch it. Like oh, the, they're bringing it back. Nah, they ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what they do though. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, bro, it had a shelf life. Don't take it. And off for the, the most shelf. part, the audience reaction is like, shouldn't have done that. You should have just left it there. And I'm sure there's cool nuances here and there where it's like, oh, I, oh, that feels good. But it's like, bro, it's not the same. The OG thing is. It's gone. like we don't need a Patrick Star show. What? With, with like new characters? What is that? We like don't need that. But what's that? Oh, it's about the real thing SpongeBob is like. Is that real? F SpongeBob. Patrick got his own show now. I just remember, like, when we'll drive by, like, the kind of, like, California movie set area, I'll see, like, the Lorax. Mm -hmm. They just make, they just remake things that are popular. Yeah, I mean, I saw The Matrix, The Resurrection or something. Like. How many y'all gonna do? The Grinch. I think Despicable Me Minions was, like, the a new thing that came out, and they've been milking that fucking Minions thing for years. I am tired of those little yellow fuckers. <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you? What are they? I never even watched that movie. Y'all want to go on me for that? <laughs> Did y'all watch the Minions thing? I think I watched it a long the time first ago. First one with uh, Gru, with the, 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 Gru, Gru, the tall legged with the legs, yeah, shaped like a lollipop. And it's like, do these corporate, these networks, think of these things f for the purpose of selling product and the, right? Yeah. Has to be. Oh, look! It's a little little minion me. toy, little minion backpack. Oh, little they're minion. already familiar with the faces. We got to keep it going. Bro, they're probably gonna come out with like another Harry Potter or something. Right, didn't they do eight parts of that? But I feel like you could watch a Harry Potter the third thing and still get it. <laughs> no, they're gonna do like Harry Potter's son or something, like Larry Potter or something. <laughs> well, isn't that, isn't that what all <laughs> I'm the- I'm like, dude, you should have left that too. <laughs> Larry Potter. <laughs> yeah, but isn't that what all the Marvel movies are doing? got a scar on his chin. <laughs> instead of the forehead. <laughs> Um, <laughs> he's like the defective kind of one in the family. I want to see a movie with what's her name, uh, Emma Watson. Emma Watson is bad. <laughs> I need a, I need a, what's a, a Herm own movie. Oh yeah, Hermione. Just not a superhero. A Hermione. Just not a, a Hermione not a, spinoff. Because uh, they have powers, but I just believe it more. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, oh. like that is the despicable me thing. But that was the same thing with the Marvel series. Each superhero gets their own movie. Mm. How many times can y'all save the city? <laughs> I get it. But think about it like this. It's kind of what we were talking about earlier is like, we don't want them to keep doing the same shit <laughs> when we keep fucking doing the same yeah, thing but too. It's true. That's true. So it's like, yeah, maybe they're trying stuff, but it doesn't work. So they got to keep doing what works. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> so they, I mean, they, we just did a cuddler part two because the first one worked. <laughs> and they keep doing um, like the rock movies. Like how many movies has he been in? He, there was one with him and a big white monkey, and then he did another one called like. Uh, Bro, the Rock has it been in every no, movie. No, he just he just made his own show though. It's called like the Dwayne Johnson show or something. He has and see with him, I don't believe that he's these characters either. I, I like know. him, but I'm like, you're not a jungle guide. What about Fast? And you're Fury? Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I don't know. I need to stop talking about movies before I get <laughs> blasted. I think yeah, some people just get hired for their name though. You're right. Yeah. Like, Oh, you don't guy. really seem like a whatever, but you can help promote this one. So I'm a bit more of a art, like a artistic type of movie guy. I don't really like the big blockbuster superhero ones. Mm -hmm. I think I just prefer the like the Leonardo DiCaprio, Jake Gyllenhaal, Jake Gyllenhaal Denzel Washington, Denzel Washington crime thriller, That's like my Equalizer. Ooh, yeah. boom! Those there ones are fire. And there I was, love those. There was movies. Equalizer two. I enjoyed. Oh that. yeah. Yep. Didn't have to, I didn't have to watch the first one. With Chloe or Grace like Moretz. Taken movies. Like, mm -hmm. good. So yeah, like Taken. Um, now is for the... Um, <sighs> that was our movie <laughs> rant. <laughs> we talked a little bit there, but see, now we're going to do a, a segment of sorts. Okay. Um, this, oh, yeah. <laughs> this one is going to be uh, outfit rankings. Um, we told people to send in... Their best outfit? Their best outfits. We'll and, take a peek. And we'll take a peek. Um... And I, <laughs> I promise, I'm not the, oh, here we go. Okay. Um, so we're going to look at these outfits, rate them based upon our thing, because we're what, fashion moguls, right? I would say so. Yeah. Fashion icons. In our eyes, at least. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean, look at me. I have the Birkenstocks with the uh, random black t-shirt. That's fashion. 
You're fresh. This you're, is this is next level. With you're the, fucking dope. With the champ sports with the stains oh, all over the yeah. pants. So white stain really gives it that like. Uh, it's like a, I don't care. Paint splatter. Like, uh -huh. Yeah. Like uh, distressed, like intentionally distressed. Um, so let's check out these outfits and we'll rank them. We want to rank them one through 10 or just give them our two cents. Two cents, one through 10. Okay, let's do that. Both. Um, here we have uh, Ugly God. He sent, me say. he sent me this. Okay. Um, I asked for some outfits and then he sent me this. I think this is pretty hard. And what I think it's also like who's rocking it too, like the way mm -hmm. you kind of carry why yourself. Did, why does he like pull it off though? He has a type of personality and presence that this doesn't seem crazy. Yeah, I feel like a lot of it has to do with the confidence because if somebody else put that on, they'd be like, what are you doing? Now, do you think he's actually wearing that throughout the day or he was going to the swamp after? Yeah, I'm not sure what, or music video or something, but in terms of just fisherman outfit, he's, mm. got, the, he's got the really nice, you know, catcher net thing. The, I like the contrast of the bright orange and the bright yellow with the camo hat. Yeah, the camo I mean, pants. really fully committed to it. Like, yeah. In he terms didn't just of, wear one piece. He did it all. In terms of random fisherman outfits, this is pretty damn hard. It's a cohesive fisherman's outfit that doesn't look bad. Mm -hmm. it, it goes together and it's fashionable for a fisherman's outfit. If I had to go out on some fisherman's trip, I'd probably want to wear something like that. Yeah. I can't imagine. Every day type of fit, I would take mm -hmm. some pieces off maybe. Maybe no boots or something. Yeah, maybe just the orange vest, but. Yeah. And nothing else. Orange vest and boots. <laughs> <laughs> butt naked. <laughs> just butt naked underneath. Um, I'll give that. I got to I'm so giving this a nine. It's a solid nine for me. I'll give it a seven. Okay. Just because like maybe the. It's like a healthy seven, you know. Okay. I'll take that. Just because it's nothing. It's something that maybe I wouldn't wear, but I think it's cool. For me, it works for him. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Thanks, ugly God. <laughs> Thanks, ugly God. This okay. next one. Uh, okay, let's do. We got, we got a little two on one. We got a little two piece, a little two for one. Let's do the. I'll, we'll just do the first guy. Pause. Okay. Um, I'm gonna rate the pictures too, cause like the way they take it, the pose, right? Um, mm -hmm. Also, the spot they took it at. Looks like the parking lot, back parking lot somewhere. But they pulled the car around behind. You know what? This one I'm feeling is a bit outdated. Um, I think it's cleanly put together. There's clear intention with the black bag, the black jeans. Looks like the Nike shoes kind of eh, are going with the top green hat. Um, I'm giving this a smooth five because I'm not inspired by it. I don't know. I feel like the satchels are kind of out of style. Done. It's done. Yeah, like there was a time for the Supreme fanny packs. and Bro, everyone was wearing the satchels. I was wearing one too, yeah. They yeah, were, they were hard. They, they were in and they were hard. I think you got one first. You had like a blue one. I know. I had a blue. I had a blue Supreme thing. I had a black one. and I had a Burberry one at one time. It. I, I think, think it died. died. I think it died. I feel like some people could rock it and depending on what kind of the fit it is. But when you just kind of put it on to put it on. I don't yeah, know. This is what the thing. And I've never, I mean. I'm not saying it's not clean. Like you said, I think it's just a little bit beyond. It's, it's played out. Played out, yeah. The things that are that sent out to me that I feel like I wouldn't do is the stripes. And then I feel like the longer tees are a bit outdated. Mm. Like I remember back in the day, people were trying to do the elongated tees was the, Bro, that, that was, was the thing. thing. I need to get that long tail in the back. That was a thing. No, long I, I got, tail. it was like an H and M went down to my knees. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like yeah. skinny jeans, skinny and like, jeans with long tees and like Yeezy, like the first ones. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What are those called? Shoot, um, turtle doves or something? Yeah, like that was like yeah, the color wave. The pirate blacks, the turtle doves. Did that have a name to it? There's like the Oxford tans, but those are the second edition. Oh, oh yeah. really? Okay. I know which one you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, which y'all? What number y'all giving this? I'm giving this a five. I, it's clean. It's just I'm not inspired, and it seems a bit outdated. Give him a six. Yeah, I'm gonna give that one a three. Are we judging homie three. in the? Are we ranking guy in the back or guy in the back? I uh, I'm not judging him. I can't even tell what he's got on. Yeah. And like just the, I don't know, the dad caps were also a thing too mm -hmm. that I don't know if they are anymore. I don't know. Some people can pull them off real well, but I do think that era has kind of fizzled out too. Damn. Damn. And that's why I just wear trash because the trash is in. Anyway. <gasps> okay. Next guy. What is this? He got the overalls. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, he, okay. He's trying to make a statement. Yeah, the all white. 
Um, but he's got like half of it on. See, I don't, I don't mind that. I like how he kind of went against the grain. Like, I'm going to wear all white today. That's a bold. For confidence alone, I got to give that some serious points. It's with the pop of blue on, on the But it helped beat. that the shirt's white because that would have looked a little more ridiculous if you had like a blue shirt on or black. Yeah, if it was like yeah. a light blue shirt, then it would have been Corn City. But Yeah, I couldn't I, even tell it was overalls. I'm going to give him a... Uh, I'm going to give him a 5.9 again because... Why not six? Uh, what was he missing? I, I think it's it's confident, but in terms of... He looked like a milk bottle mm. to me. Um, just I'm not seeing enough color for me. That's it. Okay. What do y'all think Num uh, number wise? I think I'm going to give him like a seven. I'll give him a six. Not a fan of the pose. I'll give him a six point, <laughs> not fucking six point five. I don't hate the pose. He's just, he's like, what's up? What's up with it? What's up with it? Milk flip, bottle. Flip me real quick. What are the go-to poses for guys? Like, I feel like that has to be one, right? I gotta, we gotta talk about that when we see all the poses. Yeah. After we see all of them. Because sometimes I have trouble, like, how do I pose? Like, I just go for the candid. Look. Bro, I just look down. <laughs> That's a classic Noah. <laughs> all right, we'll hit the next one. Okay. We have, we have. Lord, we, we in the log cabin. We have Big Bear with it. Okay, Dang. out of brother, the face expression. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you could have taken another one. <laughs> um, is that like a Nike sweatsuit or what? Nike look like a Nike sweatsuit. Can't really thing. see what he's wearing. Honestly. Um, a little tick. Might be an Android photo. I'm I sure. I can't yeah, even. Yeah, the grain goes crazy on that one. Yeah, the, the grain effect he put on that was crazy. Are his sneak, is his shoelaces like blacklight? Or? I'm gonna have to go with a smooth uh, three. It's just not talking. It's not original. It's just like man. and the the, hand, the thing in the face. I I gotta give it a three. I'm sorry. You might as well put the emoji over his face. Yeah, I can't even rate that one, honestly. In my opinion. <laughs> doesn't make doesn't doesn't mean I mean if we're just gonna base it off of like the whole fit, it's like I don't really I can't see like uh -huh. it's kinda just Meh. basic. Meh. Meh. I feel like a meanie, but uh <laughs> oh, boy, Here we go. Here we go. Okay, okay. Okay. So the biker jeans. I mean, they sent in the photos knowing we're gonna talk about them, so And look, I I don't think I'm that hard to please, but We'll we'll look at these. They're like the guy with the stain on his sweats are saying that about me. <laughs> no facts. No yes. <laughs> I'll ask for it. <laughs> All right, we got the what it was off white shoes ones. Yeah, got the, the off white UNC ones. Okay. See here, I think here's the problem. I think sometimes people have in their head like, oh, these things are cool. Or like, um, those are expensive. So if I wear those, like, I have I'll have a cool fit. There's a th like you have to have some sort of balance. Like you could have an expensive hoodie brand, but you should match it with other pieces. Don't wear the off whites with the the Supreme the, crew neck, skinny pants, with biker the, pants with the Gucci belt with the Supreme this, and then it's the, like overkill. And he got the belt. And what belt is that? I don't know. Uh, MK is it Michael Kors? It looked like MK, yeah. And he's got to be showing it. See when you, I think when you're trying that hard to show designer, 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 like you just said, it almost works to your disadvantage. When you're trying to, eh, Supreme Boy, like, um, and I think just, I don't know how old he is, but I think you, you over time, like I feel like maybe like we had a similar mindset where okay. we would want to wear the coolest stuff all the time, especially like oh yeah, in high I school. Can't, or I can't college. say too much because bro, I've I've done all the outfits like that before. But it's like, I, but I went through that phase. I'd though. rather have somebody tell me like that's not it, you know. So it's like when the Bape era came out, I was like, oh, you got to have the Bape hoodie. You got to have these pants that. And it's just like I was following the trends, too. Uh, this, again, I feel is outdated. And I'm giving this a. I feel like Supreme isn't what it was as much. No, it's not. Even I'm not saying you can't wear it. I'm not saying that. There's cool Supreme. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. pretty sure I have one or two. Um, this for me is talking. This is saying a three for me. Mm. It's just. Like it just it doesn't become cool anymore. Like when everyone's Everyone. wearing the same shit, when everyone's doing that. 2017, though, would probably give it an eight, but uh, <laughs> just now, I'll give him a four. Yeah, because it's almost. I always like, think, I, like it's not like I don't hate it. I know what he's trying to go for, uh -huh. yeah. but like I don't think how he knows how it's being perceived now. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it's not always about what you're wearing; it's how you're wearing it. Yeah. And also, put three 18 year olds here; they might view this differently. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. just our opinion. Yeah, and. I'm also looking at the pose too. The nonchalant peace sign. Oh, I didn't peep that. That is the most nonchalant. I've never seen a peace sign like that. Peace be with you, if you want. I feel like that's the most non nonchalant. <laughs> the most nonchalant. Non nonchalant, nonchalant. <laughs> I mean, if y'all want peace, it's here. You take it or leave it. 
It's like, oh, just chill for this photo. <laughs> <laughs> then it really doesn't come off like, bro, you got to just the, be confident. The, there's a strategy and an art to posing. putting, posing, Instagram, and like even fashion and clothes. Like there, it's an art. Composition, photos too. Con, the way it's kind of... Uh, also, the, just that outfit in that location doesn't go. <laughs> Why are you in the wilderness? Bro, you're going to get the shoes dirty. How you got to walk back to the car now? I don't know. Hey, and the, the blue and the green don't even he's on a, go. He's on a hike with his family. Like, Jared, why'd you wear that? <laughs> we're, you know we're going to be in the dirt. Just like, flick me up. Mom, mom, shut up and flick me up. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry, Jared. Uh, yeah. That's going to be a... Next one. I think he, he, we, he, we gave him enough. Oh, shit. I didn't know I submitted. Here we go. Noah submitted. Thank you. So what y'all think? Uh -huh. What y'all think? <laughs> um, let me look at this. Okay. There's a few things I want to say about this. How do you feel about the middle finger? <laughs> I was about to get to that. <laughs> Here's what I'll say about this. Two very simple things. I like this outfit. I'm not mad at this. You, it's hard to go wrong with something like this. Simple, simple chain. I don't wear chains really, but I think simple chain. You got the simple kicks with those ones, dunks, whatever the hell those are. Black jeans and you, whatever band t-shirt. Got like a vintage tee. Graphic tee. It's hard to go wrong with that. Um, it kind of fits him though. Yeah, it fits him. He seems like a respectable guy. Now the middle finger. I'm about to say, if it wasn't the middle finger, this might have been perfect. Um, I laughed about this. I started a few times on my Instagram doing the middle finger mm -hmm. uh, in a sat satirical way yeah. because I kept seeing people do it, and I was like, like this, like bro, why are you flicking me off? I'm just scrolling on my Instagram. What did I do? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll double tap. Fine, <laughs> fine, fine. Like, I, I'm just thinking. Yeah. Uh, who came up with that? Fuck you. Like, bro, Cause, what? Because it's just like a. I'm just looking at your picture. Now, would you prefer him going? <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, but that's the thing. It's an art to the pose. Mm. Yeah. You can. You can. Can you do a middle finger? And a, can you use that as a, a, t a tool or no? I have been. I use it as a tool a few times. I, yeah, I've funny. used it. Yeah. Like. Eh. Like if they know. But this don't look like he's trying to be funny. Mm. It's just like, I mean, I don't mind. Like it's just like whatever. Look at the look at my fit and fuck off. Maybe he's saying like fuck <laughs> like, us. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm dripped out today. Fuck you. I'm dripped. Um and yeah, like using the middle finger as like a peace sign maybe isn't it? Yeah, because it's supposed to be casual, but I read that as fuck you. And that's like damn. Sorry, like bro, are you tough? Are you is that like a tough thing? Like yeah, fuck yeah, fuck you. Fuck you! Look at this fucking vintage tee. I don't know. You see what the maybe fuck it's not even that deep. <laughs> it might, it's just what do people do with their hands? People just I don't know. No, yeah, yeah. It seems tough and aggressive. Back up. Yeah, you better back up. I got my ones on. I'll give him simply for the fit. I give him a seven. I give him a. I give him a seven. Seven point two actually. Seems fair. I feel like that's a safe, cool fit. And I just think the way he's doing the middle finger isn't the right way. It looked a bit awkward to me. So I can't give him any extra on the middle finger. A bit forced. Uh huh. A bit. Loosen up the fingers a bit. Loosen. Yeah. Do they are like a little, a, little stiff. Uh, you could even trick <laughs> something. To start that. Some innovator. Start it this way. Jack Harlow was doing that. He did that in really? a picture I took with him. I took a picture with Jack Harlow, just so everyone knows. Oh dang. And you he, were in a music he went video like this. Too. He went like this. I said, "Fuck! I never thought of doing it like that." Everyone does it like this. You going against the grain? <sighs> I'm about to start it. Um. Next. We got the next photo coming. Oh, brother. Okay. It looks like a family photo. Okay. A little bit vacay photo. He's doing the thumbs up as opposed to the middle finger. They all got different poses. This might be the weakest fit I've seen. Damn, bro. We said submit your best. I said submit a fit. Not not a pajama. Not <laughs> not you just woke up. Um, That's his freshest fit though, Ryan. You're yeah, roasting that, him. That's I, his freshest I am. Fun. I'm a meanie. Uh. Nah, but that fit ain't it, honestly. <laughs> with, the, with the one drawstring out, the other one's tucked in. Like, yeah, that um, and then the and, the, and the, that spot and those ankle socks. They're Ooh. like they're like not the tube ones, but they're not ankle. Yeah, I don't do know. Do y'all wear ankle socks or longer socks? I wear longer, tube. Yeah, I wear tube. Yep, yep. I've done ankle before, and I felt real like I was like, damn, I feel like I'm 30 years old. Ooh. I feel like 30 year olds wear like ankle socks. Does that make any sense? I mean, I've worn some, but it's it's usually like, oh, I didn't know I had these. I don't like the breeze down there. No, you don't want that air on your ankles. I used to wear the 
the socks that just go on like the bottom of your feet because i used to be into like the no show like oh. let me it might have just been kind of like a a lot of people in the dance world did that like, uh, that was cool okay i was like um oh like, they make those in men's the no show. <laughs> yeah they do ryan's getting canceled this episode for real I like wait i wear those oh shit i thought the no show, i don't know no nah, but that, that was the thing no shows with the vans because like you want to wear the shoes like but you don't want to be sweating in there yeah right so you kind of have to put them on you have to be like look around and then kind of put them on real quick <laughs> okay are, are are no shows a thing like that anymore i thought no shows were i'll oh, shut up i don't know i don't really yeah maybe it's not in style anymore but I don't know. This guy, I'm sorry, brother. You're getting a one for me. Okay, yeah. I'm going to give him a two. He got pajamas on. Yeah, uh, one. Um, So now to wrap up the show, uh, the team put together some interesting prompts for us to discuss and react to. So we don't really know what we're going to- We haven't seen anything. We we're going to get into. Know. This will probably be a reoccurring thing, too, where we don't know what's going to pop up. We don't know what we're going to talk about, but- We're just going to react and give our Bread and butter. Okay, there is such a thing as a butterface. What's an example of a butter name? So butterface meaning everything look good butterface. Butter face. <laughs> um, we've all seen them. We've all seen that. We know that's a real thing. Um, butter name. Everything is good but her name. Y'all ever met a a gr a bad girl with a with a bad? And they're name? like, what's what? your name? And she's like, Matilda. Oh. But then again, if she was bad, her name, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, but like you text. No, there's definitely some names that are it's like, oh, can I give you a nickname? <laughs> I, I mean, don't know. Yeah, nickname. You have to. You know what? I had one actually. This one was, but I actually kind of liked it. I was in class. I don't even know if I can say this. Whatever. Fuck it. Um, this girl's name, very cute Middle Eastern girl. I think I want to say she was Indian, maybe mm -hmm. Pakistani, maybe. Um, her name was Shabungi stop she and she was bad so i remember thinking oh shabungi that's kind of like in theory mm -hmm. doesn't quite have a ring like to ring it. to it yeah but it because it's so avant-garde i almost want to say it oh that's my friend her name is shabungi and ain't nobody got that name um and it might be on guard for us, like in our culture, but yeah. what if that's a common name? That could be like a Brad or like a... Yeah, Samantha. it's Shabungi, just a Sarah, but in Pakistan. Shab all the Shabungis w listening right now? I get blasted again. How do you not know that? Um, <laughs> it's not pronounced, pronounced Shabungi. <laughs> um, have y'all encountered a girl with a bad name? I haven't. Definitely, I, but I can't remember. I don't think I have because I don't know. I've had all the. I'm um, trying to think. I knew a girl named Shelby Harold. And like, that was her middle name. She didn't want to tell nobody. I said, What's oh, your middle name? Two words? Uh, Shelby and the middle name, Harold. Harold. And she's like, Harold. And I was like, Oh, shit. Ah. But we ain't even got to say it like that. We ain't got to say no. the middle name. Um, I can't think of any, like. But yeah, like you said, if they're bad enough, the name don't really matter. All right, baddest girl ever, and her name's what's up? Terrible name, Gertrude. Oof. Olga. Olga. Helga. Helga. Oh, Helga maybe would be a butter name. A Helga, but at that point, wouldn't you just give them a cute nickname? Yeah. Helly. Helly. <laughs> Boom! Right there. Easy done. So even if it was fuck, you make a you'll make it work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because like you can't change their face when they're a butter face. There but, you go. but the name you can just you can yeah we can tweak that into something cute okay mm -hmm. fair enough Helly next come over here with your little Helly with your little ugly ass name <laughs> <laughs> oh shit um okay next one what would you do during the purge oh shit fuck well, I was shitting my pants during the pandemic when it started so <laughs> I'm screwed I guess I would try to I don't even think I have it in me to kill somebody I would not go out and try to be like all right I'm gonna go over here get this person still their thing i guess i'm just gonna stay in my place try to lock it up yeah but where we're at we're kind of screwed too like true i ain't really got nowhere to hide what would you do during the what if there was an actual purge Fuck. systems commencing <laughs> guess we're just it's us three but i'm not surprised i mean if you know pandemic happened we're not too far <laughs> i guess i can't even say what i would really do during the purge because that would be bad 
no nope, that's <laughs> but point. but everything's nothing i mean there's a <laughs> there's nothing illegal it was nearly the purge when at the whole foods when i couldn't people were fighting for the smart waters <laughs> not even regular i was water. like yo there, everything was off the shelves I was like this is the end of the world right here i remember having a teacher that made me cry in sixth grade really bad i wouldn't <laughs> mind lighting her house on fire but like not but just like she could get out like secretly get revenge on people yeah damn that's mm. bad. thinking about that but then you gotta make it there that treacherous journey just mm -hmm. to get to the house and then they go is that ryan i hate you oh shit and then all the go. people all the people that said that's the guy that didn't like spider-man no way <laughs> home <laughs> oh, exactly <laughs> that guy hated the movie let's kill him yeah i'm staying inside i think when in doubt <laughs> <laughs> yeah right actual superheroes come out for the first time don't help ryan <laughs> Because I was talking shit about him. Sorry, dude. Yeah, Ryan had to stay inside sheltered. Well, yeah. Ryan had true. things he'd want to do, but he probably shouldn't. Like, <laughs> that's fact. For his safety. That's fact. Because they would spot me. That's the motherfucker. That me and Robbie on the field. Ryan, what you need? Yeah. <laughs> which, which, which teacher's house was it? Ryan, do not leave. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. People banging at my shit. They're trying to get in. They said, they said I have a terrible movie take. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that's that. Next. <laughs> what food should be illegal? Coleslaw. Oh, oh! I agree with that, bro. I can't. I've, that's the most disgusting thing ever. I go to Canes and never eat it. Coleslaw should be illegal. Like, why you be putting that next to my chicken tenders? What Ooh. else, um, bro? You know what else? Which I'm gonna get more flack for mayonnaise. But is that a food though? I guess. Edible. Zucchini? How do you guys feel about zucchini? Oh, I like zucchini. I could if you put the right seasoning on. Yeah, zucchini. I guess I was just traumatized when I was a kid, like eating it like in some sort of hot, like when it's like the texture is just so soft. I'm like, Ugh. you know what? Oh. Not taste good. What about cauliflower? <laughs> I fucking hate nah, cauliflower. Nah, I feel like that. That's what like if you're vegan or whatever, you use cauliflower to make like cauliflower burger, cauliflower pizza. Ew, gross. That's gross. Pizza is pizza. With dough, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Why you put? That's what's funny. It's like I've seen the vegan boxes like of food, and it'll be like vegan chicken nuggets. So it ain't chicken nuggets. <laughs> vegan so chicken, ve vegan chicken wings. Huh? Tell me what they're the not chicken. Um. Yeah, I think coleslaw got to get out of there. Coleslaw. So you don't think cauliflower? Oh, that too. Okay, I'm cool with that, bro. Because try eating a raw cauliflower or one that's just steamed. That shit is gross. Ugh. Ew. Ugh. I'm going with those two. Um. I have more, but those are more hot takes. Relish, I don't like. Sorry. What is your fatal character flaw? Shit, y'all saw all of them on the podcast. Um, fatal character flaw. Fuck, I have too many. Y'all want to go first? Bruh. What's your worst thing about you? I feel like the worst thing about me is sometimes I talk too much. Mm. Like, I, I, I catch myself in certain scenarios, like, just talking and talking because I enjoy talking, mm -hmm. but then sometimes I'm like, well, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> or like, I don't like how I, I looked when I said that. Oh, that's gonna be me this whole podcast. That's why it's like this podcast should be interesting because I'm gonna watch some of the episodes back. Like, I probably shouldn't have said that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think mine would be kind of an extension of that. Like, uh, I have so much that I want to say that I kind of mumble it and I kind of squeeze everything into one fast sentence, and then it comes out un. Uh, you can't even understand what I said. So hopefully this will allow me to practice and work on my speaking. That I would agree with you, Rob, where mine is, I definitely speak too much. And I watched a thing recently that said, the more you talk, it tells people that you actually, what's the word? It's like, it was like a- Like you don't care about what they're saying? It, it means that you're not as confident or like you're lacking something. Maybe because you're always trying to prove something. Uh, it's like you're, whereas if you say less than what you know. But what you say is super valuable. And it yeah, if you, if you say less than what you know, you come across as like wise, humble, <laughs> like like you have the ability to control yourself. Like you don't need to say everything because you already know enough. Whereas me who won't shut the hell up, like <laughs> it, it means you can't control, like, subcon like uh, you're subconsciously saying you can't, con this guy can't control himself. He's unstable. Which I think is another one of my character flaws is I have like an addictive personality. Next podcast, we're just all silent, <laughs> not saying much. <laughs> Damn, this kind of sucks. I agree grunge. with that. Um, well, that, that's a great flaw for the podcast. Uh, we I guess it. so. <laughs> Y'all are going to witness it all. Um, <laughs> I have an addictive personality also where like it's never enough. I go to the cotton candy. I eat till I'm sick. I get to I eat a burger. I go till I get nauseous. I need extra barbecue sauce. There's three things on the menu. I got to get them all. Um, oh, yeah. 
I, yeah. like it's it's not enough for me which i have to like i don't know this is a very probing question yeah and they're gonna learn too much yeah there's a, there's a, it's hard to pick one flaw when that you feel like you have a lot mm -hmm. there's a <laughs> Now I'm thinking about all my insecurities. <laughs> I don't want to end on this stuff. Yeah, and then you tell the audience what your insecurities are, and then they get you. Yeah. All the comments. Yeah, I can fucking tell that you were like that. Next one. <laughs> what is the, the ideal, ideal body, body count? count? For... I like how they only... Yeah, they didn't even... For, okay. That they left it up to us. Yeah. <laughs> second, the second I say... An ideal a woman body. should be... How dare you? Uh, and for dating, just... In all general. right, for, let's say for guys. What's the ideal body count? Like, like past, do we need to age? Let's say you're like twenty five. You're twenty five. The 25. average twenty five year old male. I and you go like, on a date with a girl, mm -hmm. and she says, "What's your body count?" What do you say? Twenty five. I was just gonna say twenty five. You say like, twenty five at your body count. I I'm saying that might be I. Well, here's the thing. What's ideal to tell someone? Yeah, don't. And what's ideal to actually have? I don't think you should tell oh, a girl twenty five. Yeah, definitely. I think like as a guy, it's fair to say like seven. Oh, as a twenty five year old. But if, if the girl asks, like, what's your answer to the girl? I remember my answer was always, like, four. <laughs> really? But that was, like, when I Were younger? was a bit younger. Mm. You, okay, well, how many should they actually have under their belt, like, realistically? <laughs> I feel like... And we're going based off... I feel like, truthfully, max four at 25 years old. No, really. That's what I think. It seems realistic. I'll say minimum six, but... You know, sky's the limit. But then, then again, you never know. Well, not sky's the limit because then you get stuff. But here's my thing: if you can, ass assuming that we can completely stay away from STDs, facts. Let's assume that that's not a problem. I say, like, <laughs> shit, between twenty-five to fifty. Like, if you can. Well, that's the thing. That's unrealistic because there there are like STDs and things like that. Yeah. So you Damn, that's that. the ideal for a I, twenty five year old. Man. Well, I'm only thinking because there's so many different types of girls out there. I was saying like what the girls are. We're saying what ours would be. I'm saying in terms of like learning how to be a good like yeah. a, 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 what's the word ladies man if you will. Mm -hmm. If I've only been to the rodeo four times. It might. Whereas if I've been in a rodeo fifty, the more times you've been in a rodeo, the better chance you'll have it riding a bull. Pause. That's a terrible analogy. <laughs> um, but I don't know. That's what. I, no, I, I agree with that. That's, that's fair. That's what like I would say. Like, I would say around ten to fifteen. Because mm. I was talking about girls. Like, oh, that's what I would feel. Oh, well, if I'm, we're talking about girls. That's a whole different thing. Because okay. I guess I wasn't sure what the question. But I don't think I, I have the cap. I'm just saying six minimum. Like they need to be. At least out and about, you know what I mean. Um, you talking about guys, girls, guys? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's hard. I don't know who we're. Um, I'll say I don't for, even know. I say for guys, the more the merit, because it is a yeah, a, yep. You know, you got to do certain things. You got to learn. Do do girls even want to be with a guy that hasn't really experienced nothing? Oh no, of course. Because then it's not don't. fun for any no one there. Mm -hmm. Whereas guys want to be with a girl with very low. Yeah, me me included. So, ideally, ideally. I feel like I, I can't, I'm not, look, <laughs> see, this could get cut out. I'm not wife when if it's over 15. If she has over, if she is over 15, I can't. Mm. 15 dicks. I, Think see, of that. I, that's, I would say like, One, that's a bit too much. Yeah, that's a lot. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's already so many dicks. Different sizes. Different sizes. <laughs> uh, uh, and she was doing it. Fuck. I can't be more than 15. I used to say 10, but then I was like, ah. Because, but you're saying, you're saying in a world where there's no STDs. Mm -hmm. or, yeah. So then what's the issue? With so I've got a bunch of dicks. <laughs> but four or five is fine? Like four or five, I could be like one, two, three, four. All right. But there's still dicks at the end of the day. There's still dicks, but four dicks versus 15 dicks. Golly. Yeah, that'll do something to you. And you think about each time. <laughs> okay, okay. Next question. <laughs> All right, and that's what we're done. <laughs> Whose dad wins in the dad octagon? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Dang. Dad, what does that mean? Well, wait. I don't like, like that problem. If our dad's my dad, a fight or something, like who would Well, my win? dad did like mixed martial arts growing up. Nah, uh, I was going to say my dad's pretty tough. But at but... his age? But at his age? Uh, my dad's probably old. My dad's the oldest between all y'all, so I don't know. My dad runs a lot, so I think he has good- Stamina? Stamina. 
You need that though. However, I have no. My idea. dad has like a nerve messed up where he can't run right now on his leg. So if it's a, you might be able to outlast. Maybe I. I feel like my dad has just some some power that no one really knows about until like mm. you it comes out and it's like shit. oh shit and are we all gonna say our dad uh -huh, like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna be like yeah rob dad will knock yeah. the fuck out of my dad and then my dad watched this like, that'll be a good fight we should make it happen my dad watched this like what Dude, are you stand up for me we'll go to the next prompt yeah <laughs> um <laughs> who is the dad dick of pop culture i don't know what that means dad dick so like a dilf? Like who is the <laughs> I might go to the next one on that one. Here we go. We've been talking about how you be wiping. <laughs> I get hated on for my wiping style. Or do you fold or do you crumble? I do more layers, so it's like one, two, three, four. God damn. Four? I crumple that bitch. I'm a crumpler. Well, but then I go bro, I go top to bottom. Like I, I go boom down. Brad and that. Whoa, what the <laughs> Y'all don't do that? What do y'all do? That's how you get like. <laughs> but I be making it rasp. But I be that. I high key shower after every time I do it, low key. Okay. Like I really don't want nothing up in there. I do. I honestly go both ways. That's not. That's my secondary way though. Okay. So what's your first way? Front to back. Yeah, effects. How do you do that? Like you lift, you get up, and then. Do you oh. get up or say sitting? I be I hover. Oh, you gotta get up. I get up. I yeah. hover. You be going in the toilet water? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> dunks your hand in. And so you're telling me how wait, do you, that might be the new way. So how do you go from front to back? It's like you lift Boom. up and then and whoo, scoop up. Yeah. yeah. And then get rid of that one because the initial scoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh, you just want to get out of the way. Hold that. I've never gone that way before. You you go, I feel like it's you easier go, to you go this way? It's easier to like go down. It's just one boop. I don't know. Because then it like pushes all this shit to your ball. Well, it doesn't. Well, it depends. It depends. <laughs> but doesn't that push all this shit up? Well, I feel like that area. <laughs> well, the good thing is. Because then if, you do another wipe. The other if, you use it, if you're using like the flushable wipes, then either oh, I'm way. I'm a fan of the. Yeah. I'm a fan of the. I, I use the toilet paper first and then I use the flushable It's like wipe. you sweep before you mop, you know? I oh, I only do the the wet wipes. Oh, well, then that doesn't really matter. I thought you were talking about just toilet paper. But even. Because that bitch be gliding when it's the wet wipe. Yeah. But I feel like the wet wipes don't. Let's change it. We'll do, yeah. we'll do two more. We'll do two more. Problems. I ain't no snitch unless. I ain't no snitch unless. I'll tell on somebody. Unless there's like. Depends how long I'm going to be. I will give you $2 million. I might say something. <laughs> oh, they could say 100K. And I. You ever seen what they do to people? Like when they bring them in for interrogation, they'll give some people like food. And then it's like, oh, that guy's telling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, bottom line is, what feels right for me? Let's say. All right, let's say. Let's say Rob me, stole $100,000 in jewelry. They came okay. to me. What did he, you see? Meanwhile, he told me the whole plan. I'm not going to rot. I'm not going to rot him out. Excuse me. I'm not going to rat him out for anything. We'll give you 100000 What if that means you have to go to jail for 10 years? Oh, shit. Because we know on the security camera it says you saw it. So that's the unless right there. <laughs> unless. So oh, I gotta go for ten years. Sorry, Rob. Damn. Damn. You, you go, but then Rob might be gone for twenty. But that's what they do, right? They give like people get like a lesser sentence if they're mans. Ah. <laughs> uh. And are we street coded like that? <laughs> I don't want to go to jail. The rest of the car back. You really rattle me for hundred k. I get out in 10 years. Where's Rhino? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, hey, Rob. <laughs> Crazy seeing you here at the Whole Foods. <laughs> you guys are both grabbing a water and then. How you been? Been good. I, you, so I thought, you're out of jail now, I see. Just got out today. First day out. You still cool with that Noah boat guy or what? <laughs> no, nah, he's cool. Yeah, we still cool peoples. Yeah, now y'all are so friends doing the podcast. Yeah, we were in the podcast. Oh, the podcast cool, been cool, going cool. crazy. I bet. Well, it was good seeing you, man. <laughs> <laughs> All shaking and nervous, not knowing what I'm going to do. Hold my smart water. Well, it was good seeing you. <laughs> oh, uh, shite. I feel like that's a good part to wrap it up right there. Um, that unless funny. there's uh, no, the anything more. We'll do one more for the, for the culture. Don't bring, bring her home, home to mom if. if. <sighs> Good lord. Oh, there's a lot of things. There's a few of those. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, man. Where do I start? Oh. Don't bring her home to mom if. 
questions? Us all silent. Um, Just like. Trying to be careful here. Bad, like. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like my family is so, like, family oriented and we were raised a certain way. So if, like, I bring somebody that has a different sort of. I don't. I really don't even know. Well, here's the thing. Um, the bring home to mom. There's a there's a certain type of or there's a certain uh, handful of qualities that are like, oh, this is a bring home to mom type of person. Well spoken, blah blah blah. So if the person isn't well spoken and respectful and nice and sweet, well then that's a L. You can't do that. Then how much of it is? Oh, I really like this person, but maybe like my parents. I know my parents won't. Let's or something she's like a that. stripper. So what what does she do? But you know her true morals though. <laughs> well, I would I probably wouldn't be dating her but anyway. That's um, what I mean though. Yeah. You're right. What? Don't bring neck tattoos or something. I say face tats. Yeah. Face tats, ne crazy neck tats. Yeah, as long as you're respect. Bad hygiene, maybe. Like oh. ah, I can't bring you. Home. Well, you want to be proud to be like, yeah, this mm -hmm. is my girl. Um, so don't bring her home to mom if you don't like her. There you go. <laughs> Rob saying the politically correct answer. <laughs> we do. One. Okay, that's cool. That's, that's good. <laughs> At the end. Wow, that was had, fun. We had a lot to say. So that was cool. First uh, kind of test podcast. Felt good. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm really excited to like do this more and get the audience involved. Questions from the audience. Like we got our own fun prompts. And I, I love talking about things that are on people's minds all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it'll just be fun to see this come into fruition and like see it evolve. Like we might change stuff around here or who knows, but. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're always here to give our perspective. Shout out to the anything. team behind all this though. Like mm -hmm. this is dope for us to be in this setup and to, and to kind of put something together for you guys. So mm -hmm. Wouldn't be possible without them. So thank you to everyone. And peace be with you. Stay tuned. Strawberry and, Park. And I love Spider-Man. All right. Bye.